Okay, I'm going to make a short video here on the new digital business card design. I'm calling it the uh, DBC 1.1 or Mobile Business Card 1.1. It's still using the Instant App Wizard 2.0 uh, system, but uh, the new design was launched and uh, it is really generating a lot of sales. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and log into our system. I'm going to create a test app. I'm not going to fill out all the information. All I'm going to do is create the buttons so that you can see what needs to be done. I'm going to create a new app. Go to 2.0 web app. We'll call this DBC 1.1 test. And we'll call this new DBC. Of course, this is whatever your web app title is and whatever your app URL is. I'm going to save it. I'm going to come in and edit. As always, I follow a very direct line on creating my apps. I'm going to go to links to web pages and phone numbers. Add new link. Call us. Select my icon, call phone number, save. I'm going to add my V card. Once again, I'm just adding enough information to create the link. Email, address in Google Maps. And I've put all my information in. One big difference that we're going to do on this than we do on the others is we're going to come up here and we're going to go to home page. All links will be turned off. Just hit turn off, show on home page, no. And I've turned off all my links. I am going to change the name of this to contact us. I'm going to save it, go to settings. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my header. I'm going to turn off the title bar to none. I'm going to go to the tab bar. I'm going to add a new link. I'm going to put the call us. Email us. V card and Facebook share. I always take off the Facebook. Then I'm going to come to tab bar settings and I'm going to select top. That puts the icon above the text. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go to footer. I'm going to turn off the title bar. I'm going to go to the tab bar. I'm going to select home page. Contact us. Share web app. I'm going to take off the web app part. Just my preference. And previous. And I will take off the page. There again, just my preference. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to come up and I'm going to change the tab bar settings again. I'm going to put it to top. You can see it puts the icon above the text. Always make sure you save after every time. I'm going to go to Save to Home Screen Triangle. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to come over, I'm going to put my background, my image in, my logo image. I'm going to go to home page. I'm going to go to text forward slash HTML, upload.
I'm going to upload this eagle image here. I will center it. This image is 275 by 300 or whatever you want your image to be. Just make sure it's 275, no more than 280 wide to line up in the uh, app perfectly. There again, I put that in the text HTML, upload, and it's just an image, 275 by whatever height you want it to be. I'm going to come over to my settings. I'm going to go into styles and colors. Let's go to advanced. Let's go to the header. I'm going to go tab bar. I already know what my colors are. My background color is going to be black. My border color is going to be the maroon. My text color is going on my icons is going to be white. And my selected background color, I always pick a just a lighter shade of whatever the color is, just so it'll show up. Then I'm going to come down here to footer. I want the footer to look exactly the same. So I'm going to use header colors. Yes, copy. I don't have to set anything. Everything's automatically set. I'm going to go to content body. Around this, you want to make sure you change the border color. Let me let me set the uh, background color to show you why. The background color is going to be black. You see this border around here? You can leave that if you want. I don't leave that. I'm going to change the background color, and this is under content body. I'm going to change this to black. You can see that changes it to black. And then my text color, because this is a black background, I'm going to change it to white. And you can see that where it changed right here, so it can be seen under the contact us. That's the reason you need to change that. Make sure you check your text color against your background underneath your contact us. Also, I'm going to set some main links and the reason you need to set your main links is because there are two links via text share and via email share. So I'm going to change my main links and I'm going to set those up real quick. I always do those 30 wide and I'm going to give them a little separation. I'm going to set my bottom border radius. I'm going to increase that to 8. I'm going to make it double. You can make this whatever you want. I'm going to put some uh, radius on there. Uh, my border color is going to be, I'm going to make that the maroon color. I'm going to come down. I'm going to set my icon box. I'm going to set my border size. I usually do about a 6 or a 7, depending on what I'm doing. I'm going to set a full radius. Background, I'm going to remove it. Border color. I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to make this this maroon color. Now, something I like, I like this inset and outset. I'm going to do an inset. You can see it just gives it a little different color set. The icon, I'm going to make white. Y to match the rest of my icons. Text content box. I'm going to give it a full radius. Uh, I'm going to do just a small border. Let's say about a 7. I'm going to do an outset just to make it different than the, than the border I did on the other side. And you'll see the difference. I made an outset and I'm going to remove the background. I'm going to change my text color to white. So it'll stand out obviously. Then I'm going to come down to my home screen triangle. I'm going to make it stand out just a little bit. I'm going to just darken the shade and leave the button white. You could turn it to purple, whatever color you want. So it stands out. And I can go back to the home page. And literally within minutes, I created the new 1.1 app. Remember to change your text color under content body to match your background. Make sure your text color is changed for your background. It's very important.
And that is the new 1.1 app. That simple, that quick. You can go ahead, let me go ahead and show you. I'll just upload the icon real quick. And I will upload the Facebook share image. This is so that when you share this app on Facebook through the Facebook share feature, this logo will show up on this particular app. Whatever logo you want it to be. Preview. And there you have your 1.1 mobile business card slash digital business card created in the 2.0 system. And uh, these are really flying off the shelf. Our sales have doubled this week using this new card. Uh, thanks. This is Kerry Miller with InstantAppWizard.com. And I look forward to you seeing you on our trainings.